50 or 50 years ago. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Like, look at that thing. Yeah. If you be like, they're coming. <laughs> oh, my God, they're coming. But if yep. if you can imagine that was 40 or 50 years ago, 40 or 50 years of advancement, like yep. who knows what they're doing now? Yep, exactly. And if I was going to cover it up, I would just start talking about aliens. You know. It's the best way to do it. <laughs> Don't you think it's a crowd pleaser? Do you have an opinion on that, or is this something that you find ridiculous until there's like real data? I like living in a world where there are unknowns. Oh. I like there being some mystery. So I like. Like, how far do you go? You go Bigfoot? I don't know. I, I, I just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even saying I need to have a point of view on them. It's more just. Um, by the way, there is a UFO right behind you. Yeah. Um, you oh probably, yeah. You probably, probably know all about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm obsessed with UFOs. Lifting somebody right up into the air. Look, there's one on the desk. <laughs> okay. That's the model of the uh, Bob Lazar uh, craft that he worked on. Some Supposedly at Area 51. There we go. It looks familiar. Uh, look, I want there to be mystery, right? I want there to yeah. be unknowns. Like living in a world where everything is settled, quote unquote settled. I, you know, no. Let's like let's have some mystery. Let's. I, I don't even know if I really want to know. Really? It's like I, I you know. I don't oh, know. I think if you know, that's just the tip of the iceberg of the mystery. I think yeah. knowing that aliens do exist is just the beginning. Yeah. Like, okay, did they? engineer us uh -huh. you know how, how, when do they start visiting mm -hmm. you know well, are the stories from the Bhagavad Gita is that about UFOs mm -hmm. like you know have they been here the whole time yeah have they mm -hmm. been here the whole time mm -hmm. do they come every now and then and make sure we don't blow ourselves up like what's yep. what's the purpose yep exactly yeah okay I'm, I'm in favor come back. on okay, man right, you want to okay, know all right, okay all right I'm in if anybody's gonna know you're gonna know so I'm gonna yes. call you so Elon, Elon says this Elon says he hasn't seen anything yeah I'm super suspicious when he says that Super, super suspicious. suspicious that he ha they haven't told him, or that he's that he's you know maybe playing a little hide the ball. Uh, if I was him, I'd play hide the ball. Yeah. If I'm if I'm running SpaceX, mm -hmm. I'm working with NASA, mm -hmm. and I already got in trouble smoking weed on a Joe Rogan experience. <laughs> I'll fucking play ball. <laughs> got the I mean, one let's play ball. <laughs> hey, aliens, uh, I have no evidence. No, no idea. They sure are subtle. Yep. That's what he says. They sure are <laughs> subtle. <laughs> it depends on who you are. Mm -hmm. If you're one of those people that's seen those things, if you're like Commander David Fravor or if you're Ryan Graves, you know the Ryan Graves story? Mm -hmm. Yep. The fighter pilot, and they upgraded their uh, equipment in 2014, and all of a sudden, because of this new, the new capabilities of their equipment, they were able to see these objects that are far distance that were moving at insane rates of speed, that were hovering dead still at 120 knot winds, right. at no visible means of propulsion, they don't know what the fuck they're doing, right. and they, they were encountering them like every couple of weeks. And yeah. then there was some pilots were encountering them with eyewitness accounts, they say there's video footage of it, but of course nobody can get a hold of that. It's yeah. like the whole thing is very strange. Okay, so here's something. So the the you know the a lot of people worried about AI are like we need to shut it down before it like causes problems. Before right. Like wake wake up wake wake up yeah. the demon cause 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 an issue. Uh, get something you know on Earth that, that that hates us and wants to kill us. Um, you know, arguably the the thing we should have shut down from the very beginning was radio. Radio. Right, because we've been like broadcasting radio waves for the last you know 100 120 years, and the radio waves don't stop once they leave Earth's atmosphere. They keep going. And so we now have radio waves of human activity that have radiated out 120 light years. Is that bad? Well, depends. Are there hostile aliens within 120 light years? Like, mm. You know? And so, like, but, you know, maybe that was, that was the original sin. And, and then, of course, television, of course, made that problem much worse. Right. We would have to think of, like, a hostile militaristic empire that took over a whole planet. <laughs> and then started exploring the solar system. Not one that we, we like to think of aliens as being evolved, hyper intelligent, beyond ego and war. They've bypassed all that, and now they're into science and exploration. And well, here's the question though: Is like, do, would, would aliens have a sense of humor? Right? Would they would they like be able to differentiate between truth and fiction? Right? And so, like for example, suppose they're sitting in their advanced alien base on you know Gemini Nine or whatever, and they're receiving. You know, thirty years, twenty years after the fact, episodes of Fear Factor, <laughs> <laughs> right? And they think that you're actually like torturing people, and they figure that in order to preserve the human rights of humanity, they need to invade as well, a consequence of your show and take over and protect that us. That doesn't make any sense. Well, but if they don't have a sense of humor, if they don't, know even that if they don't have a sense of humor, they 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 can clearly see that these people are in a contest. Oh, but would they, why would they even have a concept of a contest? I mean, how silly is that? 
a, a serious species. It's competition. Would, 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 wouldn't do such things. Would, but a serious species started out as a dumb species. No, you're, you're, unless they're magic. You're hoping that they understand these things. Yes. Because it would really suck to be the guy whose TV you know show caused the invasion. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like if there's anything, it would be American gladiators. Oh, okay, all right. That would See, be the start of it. It'd be like this. This species is so warlike they can't stop. No. What would be like the start? What would be the one thing that would be like that's enough? It would have to be news. It would have to be war. I mean, that would be forget about Fear Factor. Yep. We're we're broadcasting, you know, the the images of the Vietnam War. Yeah, or you know, maybe they saw movies about alien invasions and they thought we'd been invaded by other aliens. Right. Yeah, like what see. if Mars attacks is the Mars. first things they get. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So this is you like having the mystery of the idea out there. Like it's fun for you. I don't want. Yeah, I don't want ever. We need we need adventure, right? If we, someone came to you, some someone from on high and and said listen you we have to promise you to secrecy but we want to show you some things because i think it's pertinent to some of the things you're working on i'm in yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> me too <laughs> I'm drop my me drop. too i'm not telling nobody i'll come in exactly. here and be just like elon yep exactly well, they'll show all subtle mm. yep mm -hmm. yeah yep it's just too interesting to know yep but i think eventually i'd tell yep i think i'd feel terrible yep i'd feel a responsibility yep yeah. Someday. Well, that's what some of these guys are saying, like Grush. He's saying that once he found out about the program, he felt like he had a responsibility. Like, if they really are, if they really have a crashed UFO retrieval program, mm -hmm. like, what, why don't you tell people? Like, you, you should not, the, like, the military companies shouldn't be the ones that have access to this only. And the, the whoever is, you know, determining that this is above top secret clearance and nobody can get a hold of it except for this very select few people, like, says who? Mm -hmm. This is something that involves the, the whole human race. Right. Like I know you, if, if they do had something, I would imagine that it's of interest to national security that you develop this kind of technology before the competitors do. That, mm -hmm. that, that clearly makes sense. So then what technologies came out of it in the last 50 years? Well, if you want to go full tinfoil hat, mm -hmm. um, there's uh, a lot of speculation that fiber optics, mm -hmm. that fiber optics were uh, developed after recovered crashed UFO. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure it sounds silly because it's, it's probably a real paper trail to the development of fiber optics. Mm -hmm. But if you, uh, the, the real kooks believe that. Mm -hmm. There was actually a website um, a computer company called American Computer Company. And it was a legitimate computer company. You know, uh, you would uh, order a computer with whatever specifications you want, and they would build it for you. Um, but they had a whole section of their website that was dedicated to crashed retrieval of UFOs and the development of various technologies. Mm -hmm. And they had like this tracing back to Bell Labs and why the military base was outside of Bell Labs when it was so far from New York City mm -hmm. that it was really just about protecting the lab because they were working with these top secret materials that they recovered from Roswell. Don't you think it would be more like trans fats though? What's that? Trans fats. What or about trans like fats? Reality TV or